Hey guys, Dave from WP Smackdown here, and I just want to take a moment to show you how to use the new custom site logo feature that was just launched with WordPress 4.5. Before we get started, just a quick note that your the theme that you're using has to add support in order for you to use a custom logo. Not all themes are going to have added support for that, so if you don't see this as we go through the tutorial, please reach out to your theme director through their whatever support channels they have and see if they have added support for a custom logo. Both the 2015 and 2016 themes from Automatic both have added support, so if you update to the latest versions of those, then you'll be able to use the site logo feature. I am using the 2016 theme by Automatic. So let's take a look at how it works. We'll go to Appearance, Customize, and this will open up our Customizer. You'll find the custom logo feature under Site Identity. And here you see Logo, Site Title, and Site Icon. So this logo is the new feature that was just added in 4.5. One thing to note before we select an image here is their suggested image dimensions. These again are set by the theme developer. So just take note to what these image dimensions are and crop your logo accordingly so that it fits well within these, these image dimensions. You will have a chance to crop it after you upload though. I've already added a logo here that I'm gonna use. If you have not added one yet, feel free to go ahead and come over here to Upload Files and just go ahead and drag your logo right onto the screen. But I'm gonna use this one that I already have. Once you've uploaded your logo or selected it, just come down here and click the Select button. Now you have an option to crop your image if you'd like. If you've already sized it in an image editing program and it's ready to go, then we can skip cropping. If you need to crop it, just click Crop Image and that will save a new version of the image in the cropped dimensions. In order to crop the image, just click and drag one of these corners and you can move around the dotted lines and crop the image as you need to. If you decide to crop it, go ahead and click Crop Image. If it's already the perfect size, then you can click Skip Cropping. And just like that, you'll see the logo automatically appears here in the header. Now one thing you'll probably want to do once you've uploaded a company logo, is you'll probably want to get rid of the site title and the site description. So there's two ways you can do that. If you just wanted to get rid of, let's say, the site title, you can come in here to the site title area and just hit delete. And then your tagline will remain. Or vice versa, if you wanted to take out your tagline, you could do that as well. What you'll probably want to do, I think a lot of people will want to remove both of these all together. And to do that, I would recommend you just uncheck the display site title and tagline. That removes them completely from this area and leaves only that new logo that you have uploaded. Just make sure to click Save and Publish here at the top when you're all done. And that is the new custom site logo feature in WordPress 4.5.